You may have heard of him, Planet Pat, of course. <laughs> he is joining us now, 2015 Notre Dame grad and standout guard with the Milwaukee Bucks. Pat Connaughton joins us live here on Notre Dame Day 2021. Pat, so, uh, thanks so much for being here. Yeah, appreciate you guys having me. I know you just received a contract extension from the Bucks, and even going back to last year, just playing out of this world, getting invited to the All-Star game for the dunk competition, which, by the way, I feel you got robbed in, by the way, so let's just put it on the record. Uh, but uh, how do you feel about uh, this past offseason? I know COVID's had, you know, left its mark with the NBA last year, and now you're kind of getting back to normal. But how are the Bucks playing, and how do you feel about uh, this season? Uh, I feel really good. I mean, I think uh, we made some, obviously, acquisitions in the offseason, and we did some things at the trade deadline. And uh, overall, we have a great group of guys. You know, I think one thing that sometimes gets overlooked uh, in the NBA is just the chemistry that guys have and the camaraderie that the team has, you know, off the court as well. And so for us, we, we've gotten to know each other because there's not a whole lot else you can do during COVID. And uh, we were a tight-knit group, the guys returning anyway. So uh, it's been a fun season so far. You know, we've had uh, our ups and downs throughout the season, but I think it's great to go through some adversity now prior to when the playoffs come around. And speaking of, uh, you know, uh, adding in that chemistry, you've been averaging just over 23 uh, minutes per game, seven points per game. What unique element do you see yourself bringing to the Bucks, uh, uh each and every game? Uh, I'd say versatility. You know, uh, ironically, using a baseball term, you know, uh, they talk about five tool players. You know, I want to be versatile. I want to be able to help my team um, in different, you know, capacities each and every single night. Sometimes it's going to be scoring the basketball, but some nights it's going to be, you know, rebounding, making plays for my teammates, bringing the toughness, the competitiveness, the, you know, little things that may not show up on a stat sheet. But, uh, you know, I want to make sure that I'm, you know, a well-rounded player and continue to improve each and every season. Oh, we're seeing that on the court. Uh, some great stuff. One of your major off-the-court endeavors, though, is real estate. So tell us about your company and what got you into real estate in the first place. Yeah, you know, so my company, it's called Three Leaf Development. Obviously, shout out to Notre Dame and the Shamrock. But uh, it also, it has a little meaning behind it. You know, uh, since I've been in the NBA, uh, you know, I started to do some real estate stuff on my own with my father and, uh, you know, one of my best friends growing up and. Uh, my dad was a general contractor, so I grew up around it. So I have a little bit of a background in it. And uh, as I got to the NBA, I just kind of noticed there were a lot of guys that had interest in it, but didn't really have, uh, you know, the knowledge uh, that came with it or needed to come with it. So, uh, you know, the the idea behind the Three Leaf Development name is, you know, One Clover stands for different things. We're taking athletes, we're coupling them with business and then through the vehicle of real estate. And that kind of signifies the three leaves. And then, uh, you know, the stem is those buildings. And so for us, we started to do, um, you know, we've got two buildings in the South Bend area. Uh, you know, there'll be 27 luxury apartments coming um, in, you know, about 14 months. And then we got a three uh, unit mixed use building that just finished up here this past month. And then we got, you know, three, four properties in the Milwaukee area. And it's just about, you know, trying to use what that Notre Dame education taught me. And, you know, it, sports will end at some point in time. So trying to get involved in some things outside of sports to uh, put myself in a position to have success off the court as well as on the court um, in that four for 40 kind of decision that Notre Dame always talks about to its student athletes. Yeah, you talked about uh, having properties in South Bend. Uh, why South Bend? And do you maybe have a favorite property in either yeah, uh, you know, South Bend, just because of the community, you know, uh, Notre Dame is a tight knit community. They have obviously a great network of alumni and I've developed a lot of relationships with Notre Dame alumni within the real estate space. And they've served as unbelievable mentors for me. And I think, you know, uh, you've seen a few of the pictures now, but that last one, the white building, uh, there's two of them will be a really cool property. It's under development now. It's actually just, uh, you know, excavated the land. So uh, the foundation and footing and permitting uh, has all gotten underway, but uh, that will be one of my favorite ones just because it'll, uh, be something close to home. You know, Notre Dame was home for me for four years. It'll continue to be a place that I come back to and try to give back to the community philanthropically, but to be able to, you know, do some business back there as well and use it as something that, uh, you know, alumni or parents of student athletes can rent uh, and really try to use that Notre Dame network uh, to help, you know, benefit everyone is something that, uh, you know, 
Notre Dame taught me and something that I'm excited to continue to do and get back to a few football games, back to a few basketball games, see my guy, Coach Bray, see Jack Swarbick, uh, see all the guys back there that kind of helped me get to where I am today. Well, yeah, you've remained uh, very close with your Notre Dame teammates and former coaches uh, and to school here. And obviously you and Jerry and Grant uh, doing that backpack giveaways over the years. Why do you feel that it's so important to give back to your alma mater? You know, Notre Dame does so much. Uh, it's obviously I'm a little biased, but it's, you know, the best school in the world and what it does, not just on campus, but uh, around the world and the network and the people that come from that community feel that Notre Dame has is like nowhere else. So for us, um, you know, South Bend and where Notre Dame is obviously physically was home for four years. So Jerry and myself felt like it was important um, for us to have a, you know, foot in the door when it comes to the community give back. He did a camp back there our first year in the NBA. We've been doing a backpack drive back there for, you know, the last three years. Uh, not including the COVID year. And so we want to continue to give back that community and kind of show them this is what Notre Dame athletes are. This is what we're about. This is what Notre Dame as a whole is about. Um, and it's, you know, something that we enjoy. And I think it's something that Notre Dame taught us. It's not just about, uh, you know, the success you, success you can have on the court. It's about um, what you can use your platform for, for the next generation. And in our specific case for the youth athletes, uh, you know, around the world. Pat, Thanks so much for what you're doing for them and uh, sticking around the Notre Dame community. Good luck the rest of the season. We always enjoy having you on. Appreciate it. Go Irish. All right. Thanks. Pat Connaughton joining us here on Notre Dame Day 2021.